This video is going to cover alliteration, consonants, and assonance. Let's start with alliteration. Alliteration is when numerous words that have the same first consonant sound occur close together in a series. So consonants are any letter in the alphabet that are not vowels. So it's every letter in the alphabet except A, E, I, O, and U. So for example, what does alliteration look like in writing? Well, uh, peanut butter picked a pipe of pickle peppers. Where's the pipe of pickle peppers? Peanut See, I even messed it up. But you get the gist. The P sound is being repeated. Here's some more examples. But a better butter makes a batter better. That B sound is being repeated. Krispy Kreme. Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. The S sound is being repeated. Now, I keep saying sound because sometimes... Like, for example, PH and F make the same sound. So it's the sound that's being repeated, not the letter. So make sure when you look for to identify alliteration that you look for the repetition of the sound, not necessarily the letter. Consonants is the repetition of. Uh, of that same sound, every other sound in the alphabet except for a vowel that is within sentences or phrases. So alliteration is at the start of every word or the majority of the words. Consonants is within those sentences or phrases or words. So Mike likes his new bike. Norm the worm took the garden by storm this morn. We've got the repetition of the, the K's and the M's here. So it's that consonant sound, but it's within the words as well as those sentences or phrases. So remember, alliterations at the beginning, consonants is kind of the middle to end of the word. The last thing is assonance. Assonance is when you have that repetition of the vowel sound. So that's only that A, E, I, O, and U. And remember, it's the sound. So, for example, men sell the wedding bells. You hear that same vowel sound over and over again, and that's what makes this assonance. The engineer held the steering wheel to drive the vehicle. Okay, that is what assonance is. So, the next time you take a look at a piece of poetry or literature, make sure you pay attention to see if the author is using alliteration, consonants, or assonants.